What's going on everybody? My name is Richard Pena and today we're going to be talking about how to use a harmonic minor scale and maximize its applications. So, as you can see, two things. We're in a new studio here in Chicago, Illinois. I moved recently to Chicago to grow as a musician, really learn more about music, and just get out of Puerto Rico for a bit and learn a little bit more about the world. And from now on, we're doing videos in English and in Spanish. So excuse my English, it might not be the best, but the important thing is to get the information out there to you guys. So let's get right down to business. What is the harmonic minor scale? Basically, it's the same thing as a natural minor scale, but with a major seventh. This scale is used in a wide variety of musical styles, such as flamenco, Eastern music, and in Chick Corea's Armando's Rumba. Today we're gonna to be expanding its to use outside of just simply playing it from the root of a minor chord. As always, we're gonna be looking at what type of applications can be used when applying them over the four main chords, major, minor, dominant, and half diminished. But before all this, make sure to like and share this video with your fellow musicians to help support the channel and share the knowledge. And if you want to download the sheet music with tabs, all of it's going to be in the Patreon page. Make sure to click that link in the description below. Let's cut to the chase. On major chords, we can use the harmonic minor scale starting from the third or from the sixth, meaning that if we're in a C major seventh, we would use the E minor harmonic scale or the A minor harmonic scale. When we use it from the third, E minor, it gives us a major seven sharp nine sharp 11 sound. In terms of mode, that means that we would be playing C Lydian sharp two. And when we use it from the six, A minor, it gives us a major seven sharp five sound. In terms of modes, we would be using Ionian sharp five or Ionian augmented. When we play it from the third, it would sound something like this. When we play it from the 6th, A minor, it would sound something like this. Over minor 7 chords, we can use the harmonic minor scale starting from the root or from the 5th. Meaning, if we're in a C minor 7 chord, we can use C minor harmonic or we can use G minor harmonic. When we use it from the root, it gives us a traditional minor harmonic sound. Modally speaking, this would be Aeolian sharp 7, or just the minor harmonic scale. When we use it from the 5th, it gives us a minor 7 sharp 11 sound, pretty unique. Modally speaking, this would be a Dorian sharp 2. From the root, it should sound something like this. From the 5th, it should sound something like this. Over dominant 7 chords, we can use the scale starting from either the 4th or the flat 9, meaning that if we were in C dominant, we could use the F minor harmonic scale or the D flat harmonic scale. When we use it from the 4th, it gives us a dominant flat 9 sound. Modally speaking, this would be a Phrygian dominant scale. And when we do it from the flat 9, this would give us a dominant altered sound. Modally speaking, this would be a super Locrian or a altered diminished scale. Pretty neat. From the fourth, it would sound something like this. And from the flat nine, it would sound something like this. Finally, over minor 7 flat 5 chords or half diminished chords, we could use the scale starting from the flat 7, meaning that if we were in a C minor 7 flat 5 or a C half diminished, we would use the B flat minor harmonic scale. When we started from this point, it gives us the traditional minor 7 flat 5 sound, but with a natural 6. Having looked at all these different ways of using the scale, let's see how it would work on a 2-5-1 and what type of formulas we can use. Taking in consideration everything we just mentioned before, there are literally 8 different formulas for a major 2-5-1 and 4 different formulas for a minor 2-5-1. Now that's a lot of formulas, I'm going to be sharing those on the Patreon page exclusively, 
So if you're interested in that, make sure to click the link in the description. But with you guys here, I'm gonna be sharing my personal favorites in which I use. So let's talk about the major two five. Over the two minor seven, in this case, D minor seven, we would start on the fifth, meaning A harmonic minor. Over the five chord, meaning G dominant, we would be starting from the fourth, meaning C harmonic minor. And finally, on the one chord, meaning C major, we would be starting over the third, meaning E minor harmonic. Let's take a look at what that would sound like. So when using it this way, we use something that's known as the triadic formula. This means that after identifying the initial application, we would move the concept in an ascending minor triad. In this case, the first harmonic minor scale would be A minor over D minor. From the A minor, we would create an ascending minor triad to move the concept throughout the rest of the changes. A minor, C minor, E minor. This way, we don't have to think about the relationship between the scale and chord, but we can think about the relationship of scale with movement. It becomes a lot more easier and effective to use. In short, the formula would be an ascending minor triad, A, C, E. The formula for the minor 2-5-1, however, is a little bit different. On the 2 minor 7 flat 5, in this case, D minor 7 half diminished, we would start on the flat 7, meaning C harmonic minor. On the 5 chord, in this case G7 alt, we would start from the flat 9, meaning A flat harmonic minor. And finally, on the 1 chord, meaning C minor, we would use it from the root, in this case C harmonic minor. Let's take a look at how this one would sound. last application follows the boomerang formula. This means that after identifying the initial application, we're going to go to our midpoint and then go back to the initial application. Sort of like a boomerang. In this case, the first scale would be C minor harmonic over D half diminished. From there, we're going to create the boomerang effect. Go to A flat harmonic minor and then back to C harmonic minor. This way, we don't have to think of the relationship between each scale with the chord, but instead we can use the boomerang formula to simply jump from scale to scale without having to think of all that mess of chords. In short, the formula would be the boomerang. C minor, A flat minor, C minor. That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the concept. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite way of using the scale. Remember that if you want the PDFs with tabs for everything that was played in this lesson, be sure to join the Patreon community to get that. And be sure to like and share this video with everybody else and all of your fellow musicians to help support this channel and really just share the knowledge. If you want to keep learning jazz concepts, there's a playlist right here that you can tap. My name is Richard Pena and I'll see you guys in the next video.